Over the course of Naruto, we have seen him progress and evolve over and over again. As if his potential was seemingly infinite. But recently, I've been thinking about a regression Naruto has made. If this one thing made him so strong and so powerful, why wouldn't he use it? Especially when it's to his advantage. Naruto has always used everything in his arsenal to win however possible. From Peng to Kaguya and even against Sasuke. He uses every ounce of power he has. But then I realized Naruto wasn't using everything. Where are the truth seeking orbs? According to lore the orbs are massive power boost and it gives the user access to a lot of powerful abilities let alone offensive and defensive capabilities. But what if Naruto can't use them? Today we're going to talk about why Naruto can't use the truth seeking orbs. But before we get into that, if you don't know what the truth seeking orbs are, then definitely check out my boy Techstar's video where he completely covers and breaks down what truth seeking orbs are. The video will be in the description and at the end of this video. So now that that's out of the way, in the 4th Great Ninja War, Naruto along with Sasuke eventually received 6 path powers. Though Naruto is the only one that got the truth seeking orbs and through the battle Naruto eventually loses them one by one. Finally in the fight with Sasuke Naruto loses the remaining three truth seeking orbs when Sasuke shoots his Susano arrows at Naruto. So from then until the newest chapters of Boruto the next generation Naruto is seen time and time again using his nine tail powers and using his sage of six path powers but he is never shown using the truth seeking orbs after his fight with Sasuke. Why is that? Well the truth seeking orbs are made from yin yang release. Now when you first awaken the six path senjutsu you are given a number of orbs seeming to depend on your tailed beast. Since Naruto had nine orbs but Obito and Madara had ten. The truth seeking orbs are very durable but not indestructible. So if you were to lose them or they be destroyed then the only way to get them back were to make more. In Naruto, the only person that's capable of making more truth seeking orbs is Kaguya. Since Kaguya was the creator of Chakra, and you make the truth seeking orbs from Yin and Yang release, it isn't hard to understand why she can. But what about Naruto? Well, if you don't know what Yin Yang release is, it's pretty much all the chakra natures together. Now, before you get the wrong idea, Yin and Yang release isn't made from all the other chakras, it's actually the other way around. The shinobi of the world draw from yin and yang to use specific chakra being fire, water, or whatever else they use. Now how does this affect Naruto? Well Naruto only has an affinity for wind chakra, but over the course of the series he has become able to use the other elements as shown with him fighting Boruto in the manga. But even still, the reason he can't create truth seeking orbs is this. Truth seeking orbs are the pinnacle of physical chakra being able to change its form into anything you want or use it to your liking. To create these orbs you need complete mastery without exception over all the elements. And in the story of Naruto the only person who would have that is the creator of Chakra, Kaguya. Or in Hagoromo's case someone very close to that person. So that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you guys learned something new. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment down below telling me what you guys would like me to cover next. With that being said, peace. Yeah.